Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's topic is mouth parts of cockroach. The mouth parts of cockroach help in biting and chewing food. This biting and chewing type of mouth parts are considered as the most primitive and unspecialized of all the mouth part types. The mouth parts of cockroach are developed to suit its habit of feeding on solid food and as a result it has well developed mandibles. These mouth parts help the cockroach to bite and chew on hard stuffs, consume soft stuffs and also lap upon liquids. The mouth parts also include labrum, mandibles, maxillae, labium and hypopharynx. Now let's discuss these mouth parts in details. First is labrum. The mouth is covered with labrum. So it is also called as upper lip. This labrum is attached to the clapeus. Labrum is attached to the clapeus. This is labrum and this is clapeus. The labrum gives gustato receptors on its inner surface. Labrum helps in tasting and also holding the food. So this is clapeus, labrum, below it is mandible, then maxillae and labium. Now about mandibles. These are a pair of triangular, hard, heavily sclerotoid, having teeth like cutting plates at its inner surface. The mandibles are located on either side of the mouth behind the labrum. The mandibles are jaws used for cutting and crushing the food. These mandibles are provided with two pairs of muscles, that is abductor muscles and adductor muscles. These muscles help the movement of mandibles. Now about the maxillae. These are two on either side of the head capsule behind the mandible. Each maxilla has two basal segments called cordo and stipes. Cordo is attached to the head capsule and stipes is attached to the cordo. This is what cordo and this is types. The stipes has five segmented maxillary pulp on its outer side. This is the outer side of the stipes and this is what inner side. This pulp is situated on small sclerite called pulpifier. The inner to the pulp has two chitinous lobes namely lacinia and gallia are found attached to the stipes. Lacinia is flat tapering lobe ending in two sharp claws like projections. Its inner margin bears stout bristles. So here the lacinia has two sharp claws like projections. The maxilla hold food by claws of the lacinia and bring it to the mandibles for mastication. The maxillary pulps are used for cleaning the antennae and also the front pair of legs. Now about labium. Labium is formed by the fusion of second pair of maxillae. It is also known as lower lip. It is also known as lower lip. It has proximal post mentum divided into large submentum and a small triangular mentum. The distal part consists of pre-mentum region below the mentum. On each side it has three jointed labial pulp. This is what labial pulp. At the base of each pulp is a small sclerite, the pulpigar. At the distal end of the pre-mentum bears a pair of paraglossi. A pair of glossy is present between the paraglossi. The labial pulps are sensory and labium does not take active part in feeding but paraglossy and glossy together constitute lingula, prevents the loss of food particle from the mandibles. Now about hypopharynx. Labrum is called upper lip, labium is called lower lip and hypopharynx is called tongue. 
it is cutaneous grooved rod like structure found hanging into the preoral cavity hypopharynx divides the proximal part of oral cavity into larger anterior barium and a posterior salivarium the salivary ducts opens into salivarium at the base of hypopharynx it receives saliva from salivary duct and directs it on to the food so this is about the mouth parts of cockroach